Hey everybody, it's Robert Greenblatt from Keller Williams Realty. Real quick, a big question that we get a lot is, once I sign the contract, is this a guarantee that I'm gonna close? No, there's a lot of steps in the process. So here's a, an example, it's an extreme example, but it recently happened on our team. We signed a contract with the buyer on this property over the course of the mortgage getting ready, the husband's uh, his husband got ill. He was sick when we started, but his health deteriorated over the last several weeks. So um, we decided to have a POA signed by, by him so his wife could sign all the mortgage documents for closing. The notary went to visit the Mr. Buyer and uh, notary said, I'm sorry, I can't notarize these documents. He's too ill and she didn't believe that he was coherent enough to sign the documents. <sighs> Frustrating because we know that he really wants this house. Um, so the only way that we were able to potentially work around that is the notary and the title company both requested that there are um, two physician's letters uh, to certify that he, his mental capacity is okay. So um, frustrating process because I actually don't think we're ever going to get those letters. Um, we know him and his wife really want this house. Um, it's sad when something like this happens. Obviously the seller's upset because we didn't close and the buyer's upset because he really wants to buy this house and we're kind of caught in the middle. So bottom line is there is no guarantee. We're dealing with humans. Lots of things could happen during the throes of a real estate transaction. This example I just brought up because it has not, nothing like this has happened in my entire career, but things happen. There's no guarantee. So when you sign a contract, you can't say, hey, I sold my house. No, you signed a contract. Uh, it's not sold until you end up walking away from the closing table. Have a great day.